Today, I'm going to be teaching the basics of how to output text in Java. The goal is going to be creating a game similar to Wordle, like this. So to begin, you want to download BlueJ, which is um, a program that allows you to compile and run JavaScript. So here, BlueJ.org, you can choose Windows or Mac, depending on your platform. Once you have that, you can open BlueJ, and you're prompted with this. This, when you first download it, won't have any files. You'll go to Project in the top left-hand corner of your screen, create a new project, and that'll create this. Here you want to create a new class, which is like a project, and you name it whatever you want. For this purpose, I named it example. Then to start, this is just an example of a basic text code. So when you run this, you get the simple text. Hello, with a space, a tab, world, my name is, and then on the following line, the actual name. So to create that, so every program starts with a heading, which is a class name, and a method. So to start that, you want to start with a public class, and then the name of your class. So for this one, it's example, and then you have an open brace. Then inside that, you declare your method. With another open brace. So this public void main string args is a default text that's in like every single Java program. It's just how to start the program. Then inside here, you can code um, inside this method, this yellow highlighted section. So there are two main ways to export, uh, to output code in Java, which is using print lines. So the way they work is system.out.print. Then you have parentheses and inside the parentheses you have quotations and inside the quotations you have text. And you end each line with a semicolon. So this, once you output it, will now print. You click compile to save it. Then once you output it, this is the output. Just hello. The second way, you can just copy this. The second way is to use a print ln. So by adding ln at the end of print, which the ln stands for line, you send the cursor to the end of the next line, to the start of the next line, after it outputs this text. So now it'll print hello, hello on the same line, then it moves to the next line and it'll print a third hello on a new line. So if you compile this, You have exactly that. So another way to achieve the similar thing is by using what are called hidden characters. And hidden characters are characters, um, are hidden commands that go inside of the quotations of text and do various things. So one of them is backslash followed by T, which stands for tab, and that creates a new tab. So this, when it starts, there'll be a big space followed by hello. And then the second one is backslash n, which stands for new line, which sends the cursor to the beginning of the next line, just like print ln, but without using print ln. So here, you can do another dot out dot print, and you don't need ln. And you can type your text, and it was a semicolon, and now you will have a space, hello, and then test on a new line. So after you compile that, And run that, you have a tab, and then test on the second line. So that's the basics on how to use printing in JavaScript.